Hey guys, Mike here, Anime Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. Alright guys, well today we're going to do a video on a topic that has been quite a while since I addressed that. We're going to talk about the 3D paint tool, okay? Now, I did do a video on that before, but I think it was in 2014, not sure. Anyway, uh, what's the deal with the 3D paint tool? Well, obviously it allows you to paint directly onto 3D objects in Maya, but we're going to look at some practical uses for that, right? Now, I just uh, textured this uh, wooden fence here. Now, let's say I want to add some, you know, dirt or make it look a bit old, dirty, grungy, whatever, or maybe have some graffiti on it, okay? What I would normally have to do is uh, take a UV snapshot of the UV and then uh, export it into Photoshop and then tweak my image in Photoshop and save it out and apply it again and so forth but we have some options to do some things directly in Maya, okay? So I already applied this texture. The uh, the wall is UV'd, which is very important. You can't paint an object unless it's UV'd, okay? Keep that in mind. So that said, let's go to our rendering menu. We're gonna go up to texturing. We're gonna go to the 3D paint tool and we're gonna hit the option box, all right? I'm just gonna reset the tool so we're all on the same page. And before we do anything else, we have to scroll all the way down and click on Assign and Edit Textures. The reason for that is we need to define a file that will hold the information, okay? So I'm going to set this to 1024 by 1024, all right? All good. And I'm going to save that as a JPEG. And I'm going to hit Assign and Edit Textures, okay? So that's that. Now I'm going to go back up and I have a, a color, which is black right now. And I have a number of brushes that I can use. Okay, so this one looks a little bit more like an airbrush. So I'm going to click on that one. And once I move over to the right, you can see that I have a red circle around my brush. And let's say I want to increase the size on that. I'm going to hold the B key on my keyboard, left click and drag. And as you can see, it's becoming bigger, all right? So let's do a quick test. As you can see, it's applying quite a lot of black paint. So hit Control Z to go back. And one more. So we're gonna hold down B, drag, select, and make that nice and small, all right? And then let's see what else we can do. We can tweak the opacity, okay? now. Let's just bring that in a bit and have a quick test. Okay, we'll make it very faint. That's a bit better, okay. So somewhere in the range of 0 0.03, okay. So I'm gonna hit Control Z again to go back. And let's do 0 0.03. We'll zoom in. And we'll hold down B and left click and drag. Come on, there we go. And uh, let's start to kind of add some dark edges to the bottom here. Okay. And as I go over this a few times, you can see that we're starting to see some results. And we'll do that at the top as well. Okay, and I don't want it to be too obvious. We'll just tweak the color a little bit. We'll uh, switch to something more towards brown. Okay. And we'll just add that. All right. Now, let's say I want to have some sort of graffiti going on, okay? I'm going to select a red color. I'm going to tweak the opacity a little bit. Let's bring that up. We'll do a quick test. Yeah, it's about right. Hit Control Z to go back. So let's say I want to have some sort of graffiti. I'm going to hold down the B key again, left click and drag to bring that down. And, you know, I'm certainly not a graffiti artist, so let's do something. 
I don't know. Maybe a king's crown or something, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So let's say that's that. Well, now what you can do is you can go into your render settings. We don't really have any light going on, but we're just gonna hit default render, see what we got. And there you go. So this is a method for you to add some uh, color to your object, uh, to add graffiti and whatnot. And uh, you, know, you can actually do quite a lot of texturing on that. Uh, I usually uh, use this for, you know, kind of coloration on seams, you know, uh, welded pipes, for example, or seams and clothing and so forth. So that's just a quick and neat way to, uh, to apply that technique. All right. So if you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.